Well, I hope you can hear me okay um, because uh, I'm just trying out this uh, this sound thing again. I always get it set up at home, and then when I'm out in the uh, field, it never seems to work. But uh, hopefully, you uh, you can hear me. So um, yeah, the uh, gravel bike is finished now. To some people, this might not look like a gravel bike. Uh, my version of a gravel bike is an off-road touring bike, and if I can't put uh, racks and panniers on there then uh, I'm not interested um, you know there's there's two I think there's two trains of thought as to what's a gravel bike and to some it's a racing bike that you would use to do gravel races which I suppose it is I I suppose I've made up more of a, a bike packing bike but with a few little changes it could be a, uh, a gravel bike quite quite easily um, I originally did want to go one buy with it but it was just going to cost too much money and I wanted to just use the bits that I had in so let's take a little tour of the bike there it is in all its glory so like I said I just wanted to use the uh, the stuff that I had really I did have big plans for it but you know money gets in the way doesn't it and so I used the original Biopace chain ring and the original rear derailleur this bit completely season it but the beauty of having friction shifters is that you don't need to do any cable adjustments so um so that's that's it now i would have loved to have kept to the original paintwork and the stickers you know this was a rock hopper 1988 rock hopper in a like a luminous green it looked absolutely amazing um but uh that wasn't to be because I had, if you look at my other videos, I had loads of trouble getting this seat tube out and I had to uh, burn it and get the blowtorch on which destroyed all the paint so then it had to have a, a powder coat um, but as you can see it's looking really good friction shifters, a new stem and a new seat post I've still got the original saddle on which is a bit hard but, uh, but yeah, that's it, it's finished I just bought some new U-brakes and they're old like BMX brakes um, just because I'd misplaced the others and I am having I'm, I am going to get a different crank but off eBay somewhat cheaper because this overlized chain stay is difficult to set up properly with uh, with the derailleur because it has to be high because when it gets to its highest point on the oval it touches not now but if you was to set it up so that it had on the lowest part and then when it's on its lowest part it's too far away so you don't get clean shifts so I just need to change that and there are some sexy alternatives which I will show you show you now so if you wanted to go uh, all out I would I would go for these here and uh, they are quite expensive but you have the option of one by cranks uh, these work with 12 speed doubles triples and look at the look at the machining on them they're absolutely beautiful and then a bit cheaper velo orange again just as lovely and look, you can even have these in black these are a bit cheaper and uh, look at the machining on them they are absolutely gorgeous why would you want anything else why would you want these cheap, well not cheap, these things that are just made and bumped out by you can have something as beautiful as that on your bike. Look absolutely amazing. Check out both of these sites anyway because they don't just do cranks, they have so many lovely, lovely components. I'm sure you would uh, find something that would interest you. <laughs> For me, you can probably tell when I'm riding that the saddle's just maybe a touch too high and just need to change that when I get back. Uh, the I, thought, I would say the handlebars are a touch too low as well for, for off-road riding for me. If, you know, it's okay if you're racing I suppose, or if I was out without bags and stuff, but when I, if it's fully loaded I just want those handlebars just to be maybe about an inch higher. You can see what you think when 
you see me uh, coming past on the bike but uh, that's just how I feel I, I notice that when I do put my hands up it's uh, it's a lot better My uh, Silk Road, bear in mind they are beautiful touring bikes, uh, specially made for it. That easily took 2.3 proper knobbly mud tyres with fenders, which was unbelievable. That was a 26 inch wheel as well. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm nearly at the road, I'm nearly home, so I thought I'd just summarise it. Yep, works perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. Uh, with it in its current form but some things that you know I would have done differently um, if I wanted it in to have black components it would have been very cheap to just put uh, NX crank NX rear derailleur uh, uh, 46 T cassette on the back with something like I don't know 30 at the front 32 something like that and uh, would have been a one by and I just need the one shifter I wouldn't need to bother with the shifter on the other side and I've got a system like that on my road bike so I'll show you that when I get back and yeah the only other thing is just that the uh, handlebars are just a bit too low in their current current setup as you can see probably perfect for racing gravel and for a road bike but for off-road just a bit too much weight on the front but other than that absolutely spot on. Uh, this is going to be Eva's bike, his daughter. Uh, you know, friction shifters. Friction shifters, I just I don't know why we've gone away from them. They're just absolutely unbelievable. You can have any setup you want. You can have, uh, you know, any rear mech you want. Just the combinations you can have just unlimited and they just work. No. Like I said in other videos, twisting your cable half a turn this way, half a turn that way to get your index in sorted out. They just, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're perfect if you're going to be using uh, derailers. That's why I love the uh, gearboxes I've got as well, my pinion gearbox, roll off, because they just work and that's what I want from a bike. And when I was, when I was young, a bit immature all I wanted was the latest group set the lightest group set the you know if I'd have been a youngster now I would have probably gone for electronic but I'm so glad that I haven't and I've so sort of like grown out of that phase because I just want stuff that works now and I don't have to change and don't have to fettle it just means more time riding and enjoying uh, so that's that's where I'm from that's what I like everyone each to their own each to their own. Uh, everyone has different enjoyments when it comes to cycling so uh, I'm not going to tell anyone what they need or what they should have but for me keep it simple keep it reliable and in this age of sustainability and not throwing stuff away it's perfect you know these electronic group sets it's to me people complain about the car engine and how you used to be able to fix your car engine yourself and that's the same way you know these group sets are going you just break them and throw them away okay so this is the other alternative setup you could do with a one by and it'd be cheap but like I say this stuff is um is black so i didn't want to do that on that conversion that i've just just done friction shifters there and i this one is just uh don't mean there's no cable on that one because i don't need it because it's a one by 11 really small um chain on the front I've got Rival, I think it's a 30 or a 32, something like that. Really tiny, and then a massive uh, cassette on the back, which is perfect for the 20% hills we have around here, and an NX derailleur. And this is what I mean about friction shifters. You can just put on any derailleur you want, any cassette, just it just, just works, so it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so if I would have wanted to, I could have done a one by on that, but I wanted chrome components. So if you um, have any questions, any queries about the uh, conversion that I've done, then uh, please feel free and give me a message. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, then please like and subscribe and uh, I'll keep on doing them, providing people like listening to them. Uh, cheers.